Javante Tank Davis brutally KOs Frank Martin in the eighth round. And yes, fan, what a performance that was by Tank. Honestly, unbelievable. That's why this man is one of my favorite boxers right now. Uh, he's in my top three favorite boxers right now. Uh, unbelievable stuff by Tank. Um, what a performance. Let's be real. And what a knockout as well that was. Brutally, brutally knocking out Frank Martin. Um, yeah, the, uh, unbelievable there by Tank. He knew it was done as soon as that bloody massive shot landed. Unbelievable stuff. He's showing why he's the best lightweight in the world. Proving my point. Uh, yeah, look, Tank and Loma are by far the best lightweights right now, in my opinion. Definitely. But I think Tank's the best. It's just unbelievable stuff, to be fair. He just timed himself really, really well. So accurate with his shots. And what performance it was. Um, Martin literally couldn't really land too much, to be fair. Like, yes, Martin was throwing quite a bit, but... Early on, Tank was, Tank was quiet early on. He was just trying to fill Martin out, try and, you know, find find places to go, try and work him out. And he eventually was able to do that. And you could tell, eventually, I think it was in the fourth round when Tank had his hands down. You know, I thought it was the fifth or sixth round or something where Tank was fighting with his hands down. You knew he was, you knew he was in complete control. And Tank was just taking Martin shots on, the, um, on his gloves all night. Like, basically, Martin took the first two rounds because Tank was doing nothing then. So Martin took those first two. Other than that, Tank just dominated him for the rest of the fight. Tank was able to outwork him with a jab in the third, doing a good job, able to just outland Martin um, for, for, for more of the fight, if we're being honest. And uh, Tank was landing the... Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say outland. I would say, you know, he's able to land the bigger shots. Martin... To be fair, yeah, Martin was throwing a lot, but to be fair, Tank was able to counter him well and land the bigger shots. And Tank's shots to the body were really, really, really good as well. Like, we all know how great Tank's body work is. And, yeah, the, the shots to win the fight was unbelievable. It was a great uppercut um, from Tank that was able to set Frank Martin up for the, uh, for the left hand that ended the fight. And... Yeah, overall, Tank was just too clever for him. Tank's ridiculously clever. He boxes so well. He's got ridiculous power at the weight as well. By far the hardest hitter in that lightweight division. 100% he is uh, the hardest hitter in the division. Um, but yeah, Frank Martin was... Frank Martin was just... He couldn't really land on Tank. Frank Martin was just eventually out of ideas. And Tank was able to just take him out, pile the pressure on him. Frank Martin was, you know, he had to box off the back foot because Tank was coming forward really, really well with that good high guard, coming in with some good small feints as well, which was pushing Frank Martin back. And you don't really want, and the thing about Tank is that you don't want to make any uh, mistakes against him because he can punish you with some brutal knockout power. And that's exactly what Frank Martin found out tonight. Like, you have to fight cautious against Tank. Uh, and you can't open yourself up too much. But at times, Martin opened himself up a bit too much. And Tank was able to catch him with some big overhands in that fight. Tank was able to land some good lead hooks. Big overhand lefts as well. Big shots to the body where he was able to land some... Yeah, he's able to, you know, really dig into the body of Frank Martin. And at times as well, I just feel like Martin at times in that fight just let Tank back him up onto the ropes too much. And let Tank get his work off. That's that's some mistakes that Martin was making in that fight. He was letting he, he was letting Tank um you know pounce on him too much on the ropes and letting Tank really go after the body shots because when Tank has Martin on the ropes that's when he was really able to dig in for those body shots and was able to you know land some good overhands and get some good sneaky shots in there. That's what Tank was able to do because you know Martin backed up on the ropes too much in my opinion. Early on yes Martin was moving around all right but you know Martin felt comfortable in that time because Tank wasn't throwing back at him. But when Tam was throwing at him, Martin knew he had nowhere to go. So he's just backing up on the road, trying to take some shots on there. And I just feel like Tank, whenever you fight Tank, he just drains the belief out of you massively. Because you realize this guy's ridiculously hard to hit. He's ridiculously hard to hurt as well. And, you know, if I hit him with some good quick shots, he's only going to come at me with some even harder shots, which are absolutely brutal to take. And... That's what Tank does. He just drains belief out of you throughout and breaks you down. And he's eventually able to get you out of there. Like, 30 wins, 28 KOs. Like, 
I see loads of people saying, oh, tax records, massively overrated. I think he's got some good, solid names on there, actually. Um, you know, let's have a look through his box track now. Let's have a look through tax box track now. And, you know, let's see, let's see how overrated his record is. Because it's not overrated at all. Not overrated at all. It's an absolutely fantastic record. He's got great names on there. But, you know, people will still say he's overrated. But, no, he's the best lightweight by far. So, you know, you've got people like Leo Santa Cruz on there. Great win. Mario Barrios, fantastic win as well. Um, Isaac Cruz, you know, well, we all know how great of a win Isaac Cruz is to have a new record. Uh, Rowley, you know, big win there as well. Hector Luis Garcia, good win. Ryan Garcia, big win. Now Frank Martin, big name to have on your record. It's not overrated at all. He's got an incredible resume tank. 30 wins, 28 knockouts. It's unbelievable from Tang. Unbelievable, unbelievable from Tang. And, you know, he's got people... Yeah, I, I, let's be real, though. I get that people want to see him, you know, fight even bigger names. I, I get that. Like... Next up, I want to see Tank versus Shakur Stevenson. I want to see him unify versus Lomachenko. You know, these are now fights we want to see from uh, from Tank. And now I think he's got this big win over Frank Martin. I think we will see him push on for even more bigger fights. Because let's be real, Frank Martin, you know, I think he's definitely deserved it. He was meant to fight Shakur for the WBC. Didn't end up getting that shot. So, you know, he deserved a shot against Tank. He deserved a shot at a world title. But, you know, Tank is just able to expose him and just show a different level, though. And that's what Tank does every time he fights someone, though. Every time you fight against Tank, Tank just always shows you a different level. And I honestly don't think we fully know how good Tank is yet, though. I think he's even better and Tank's got even more left in his tank. Like, you know, we, we, we've got even... We, we, We've got more things to see from Tank that we haven't even seen next. And when he fights the Lomachenkos, when he fights the Shakur Stevensons, when he fights possibly the Williams of Pedders as well, we're going to see even more from Tank. We're going to see even more from Tank each fight. And I can't I, I, I can't wait. The guy's ridiculously entertaining to watch. Um, and he's just so, 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 so good. Able to drain the life out of you. And just completely break you down. His shots are brutal. He he boxes really, really well. He's really clever in there with his shots. Knows when to go, when knows, and you know, knows when to, you know, stay cautious. And, you know, knows how to shut that gap down as well. Can fight at a good range as well, Tank. He's able to dictate his pace. Uh, Tank's able to dictate the pace at range with his uh, with his lead hand, and you know he's, that the lead hand's unbelievable. He's able to catch with some good lead hooks. His jab solid as well, and you know some big overhands. You know uh, he's able to set up from those jabs, uh, and yeah, look, just unbelievable performance from Tank. One, one of, <coughs> <coughs> definitely one of the best boxes in the world right now. Jesus Christ, oh, uh, I feel sick now. Uh, anyway. Thanks for watching this video, King. I'll speak to you on a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.